really uh, pretty extreme airstrips out here. They seem to be very excited about learning about God. There are no other missionaries living within 300 miles. Be in the air over the river short mile. You don't see the airstrip until you're about 200 feet above the ground. You know, in America, this would be just the poorest of the poor. Mission Aviation Fellowship has established a base in Tyrakon with the goal to help support the local church and reach out to the needy. A few months ago we started a story time for the kids in our neighborhood and also for some of the kids that uh, go to our Indonesian church. We wanted them to be able to learn English and we also wanted them to be able to understand what we were teaching so we decided to start doing um, story time in English and in Indonesian. So this is a way that we can have the neighbors in and that we can just, it's a non-threatening way to share God's love. Basically I see my, my ministry as just being a friend to Indonesian women and thankfully it's a really easy ministry to do. I just try to befriend Indonesians and since they're so friendly and so ready to be friends, um, yeah, it's, it's a very easy thing to do and I really enjoy it. The island of Borneo has some of the world's most remote jungles. And reaching many of its interior villages is nearly impossible without the help of an airplane. Mission Aviation Fellowship and its missionary pilots are sometimes the only reliable link these villagers have to the outside world. And the Cessna 206 is the workhorse of the fleet. It's able to fly in and out of airships that are pretty short, uh, about 1,200 feet long. And uh, the challenge about this airplane right now, though, is that it uses a fuel called avgas. Avgas is uh, becoming increasingly harder to obtain in places like Indonesia. It's very expensive now. It's about $13 for one gallon of that. And this airplane goes through about 16 or 17 gallons every hour that it flies. So that's a real challenge that's arisen to our, our ministry over here is trying to figure out ways that we can continue to operate our aircraft. All right, we're gonna be flying into the village of Long Alongo with the family for a visit and a chance to uh, encourage and minister to the folks there. We're gonna, we're gonna take off out of Tarakan here on the island of Tarakan and uh, fly directly out to Long Alongo. And it's good for the family too to get a chance to go into the village and, and see uh, you know, who we serve out there. Is this what I'm wearing? That's what you're wearing. <laughs> you know, our wives and the kids here on the program, they need to see what the dads are doing, they need to see what their husbands are doing because uh, they are such a crucial part of that formula to making it work that they need to, uh, they need to see it firsthand. And so that's usually the only opportunity they have. And every time we do that, you know, my wife comes home, she's just more excited about what we're doing and gives her a chance to kind of, you know, recatch that vision that we have. Hey, Salamat Pagi. Salamat Pagi. Pagi mana. This is, this is Pastor Yahya. He's yes. the pastor of this village here. He's a dear Christian man. He, he keeps a prayer list and he prays for our staff with his, uh, with his, with his uh, congregation here. Any Anaksayat, Carter? Having the kids come along with us is just an amazing experience for them because you know they get out of the little city where we live, they're able to run around. Right. They love coming out here and playing with the kids in the village and they get to see how people live in a different place. It's always a little embarrassing to come with a lot of stuff because I've moved families, like moving to a different village, and they've had less stuff than this. <laughs> but it's, a lot of this is, you know, we're bringing the projector and Generator. stuff going to be given to the people in the village, so later on it'll make sense.
I haven't kept track, but I think that may have broken the record for the longest line I've had to shake hands with. <laughs> This this village is almost all uh, you know almost 100% Christian. It goes all the way back to the influence of missionaries many years ago. Berapa anggota di gereja ini? Kalau dulu memang in the past there were people who said that missionaries would result in the loss of culture around here, but that's not the case. The culture is is still strong. Uh, the ministry of missionaries has helped the area. You know, whenever I come to a village and I see how people live here and, you know, how they have so little and they have to work so hard for, for just their, you know, their everyday living needs, um, it's convicting to me because, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of complaining, um, you know, when my AC doesn't work or whatever. And so um, it's an encouragement to me to come and see um, how these ladies live their lives faithfully for the Lord um, and with a content heart. I am very thankful, very happy that MAF comes into my village because without the MAF plane, I would not have been able to get the medical help I needed. Here in the village of Longolongo, there are lots of children and they seem to be very excited about learning about God and we're going to sing some and play some games with a parachute we brought. They've probably never seen one of those before. When I see the kids in the village and their little faces are looking up at me, um, I just think, wow, there's so much potential here. And I just, you know, my hope and prayer is that these little ones will be led to the Lord um, at a young age and that they'll grow up and just be a mighty witness for the Lord. doing is we're getting ready to uh, put up a screen for the stuff we're going to show tonight. I'm going to show them pictures of MAF from uh, other locations around the world. Dave's going to be showing them uh, the movie Into the Spear, which is kind of neat because it goes back to the story of Nate Saint, who's one of the first MAF pilots. And we want them to know uh, what our heart is, you know, to help them. Before I watched this film, I didn't think too much about uh, the, the church and the you know throughout the world. Uh, after watching the film, though, I I realized you know yeah there are missionaries in other countries, and I felt like the Lord might be calling me to be um, might be calling me to be a missionary or or work in the church. Thank you. As the as the pastor of this village, um, we're very happy with the ministry of MAF because it, whether we like it or not, that is the best way to reach people with the gospel as well as medical help is through the airplane, and we're happy to support it. The missionaries of MAF are touching lives, but there is much more work that needs to be done. God is on a mission, and he has given each of us a talent and the opportunity to join in on the adventure. It's my hope that there will be more missionaries who can come to Indonesia. There are still many areas of our country that have not been reached, and we still need missionaries to come and minister here. For me, I want to look back on my life and have no regrets, and I think that stepping out and doing something as crazy as moving to Indonesia and living in a different culture, I think that it is a very rich and rewarding experience. I don't think it's something that you will ever look back on and regret. So the longer you delay, uh, the longer it's going to take before you get out here. There's no excuse that I'm, I can think of now that I'm here that would have been valid for, um, for keeping me from being here because it, it so truly is, it's amazingly enjoyable. He desires us to be a part of what's going on in the world, and I would highly encourage you, whoever you are, I think that it's one of the greatest things that you could do. And your skills and talents may take you to Indonesia, or it may take you down two blocks from where you live, but in either place, 
God wants you to be a blessing to other people, and you're going to find your greatest joy there. Oh uh, yeah, kalau. The, the value of MAF here is is really hard to describe, and uh, we don't really get any help from the government as well. If MAF wasn't here, we don't know what we would do. Terima kasih. Thank you so much uh, for what you all do for us here. Thank you for the pilots. Thank you for those that help MAF. So that uh, we hope that you will continue to uh, help us and serve here for many years. On behalf of our MAF team here in Kalimantan, thanks for taking the time to watch the show. We'd also like to thank CTN and MAF for investing the resources to make it possible. It's our hope that after watching, you have a better idea of how you can pray for this ministry here and, and also how your support is being used to bless the people in Kalimantan. So from all of us here in Kalimantan, Selamat Jalan! Jalan.